The Adam Carolla Show welcomes America's last hope in competitive eating. Could he take down the Japanese champ? I'm the only American person who could do it. Joey Chestnut went head to head, dog for dog, on the 4th of July. The day Jesus died. With the heavily favored Kobayashi. And they are underway right in the center of that line will be Kobayashi. Can Chestnut pull it out in the last... What a great eater, though, and what a man to energize the American eating fans. And the winner is... And Kobayashi takes it again. Unbelievable, but Joey Chestnut gave him an amazing fight. No way! Here's the guy who took second in the 4th of July hot dog eating contest, Joey Chestnut, on the Adam Carolla Show. Welcome to the show, Joey. Great to be here. We, I believe we spoke to Joey on the phone a few months back. He's going to train our own Big Tad, who has a rib eating contest in Reno. But every time Big Tad sits down at the table, it's an eating contest. At least that's the way he approaches it. I think, by the way, it, take, it took a lot of guts for Joey to show up here this morning after he shamed our country the way he did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he did it. He did this Kobayashi. Somebody. Like the story. Somebody's got to put some strychnine in one of those dogs and take this kid down because I'm tired of being humiliated by him year in and year out. How many years in a row does he have this Nathan's that's hot dog eating contest? That's number six. That's number wow. six. Yeah. And he goes, oh, he did bulk up a little bit, but he goes about 160 pounds, right? Yeah, that man, uh, that's all he does for a living is eat and uh, work ah, out in the gym. Ah, I see. He's like one of the Cuban boxers. Yeah. that's, that's it, It's a full-time gig for him, whereas you have to go in and punch the clock. Yeah, I mean, I, I work for a construction company, part mm-hmm. of an engineer, and I finished my civil engineering degree. Right. So I'm so having you, fun. You have other, you're, you're, you're a true amateur in a certain sense, whereas he's doing it full-time. Yeah, I'm, I'm an amateur that's uh, just, I haven't lost to an American in six months. Yeah. You have it. No. It's uh it's weird that there's no correlation between size and the ability to eat mass quantities of food in a short period of time. Mm-hmm. You just think, well, four hundred pound guy would just have have the edge, but for some reason it doesn't seem to work it's that more way. Health. You have to be healthy to eat that much. You, you do. have to be able to push your body. It's, you have to be strong. You have to be yeah. able to, your body has to be willing to accept that much food. But Joey looks like an athlete. He doesn't look like a big fat guy. No, it says here he's 230 pounds, but he doesn't even look that big. He looks uh, quite fit. He fluctuates quite a bit. I'm getting ready for some big contests. You do? Yeah. And so So the weight goes up before a big contest. It goes up. No, it actually goes down because I'm trying to lose a little bit of body fat, trying to make sure my skin stretches easily. Oh, is that how it works? So what is what is preparation for a hot dog eating? Let's just focus on Coney Island for a moment. Coney Island? Oh, that was months. It took a months. It took a long time to make my body feel comfortable with that many hot dogs in it. Well, what do you do on a daily <laughs> basis? I mean, you just head down to a Wiener Schnitzel and go go sick every day for lunch. Like, how, how do you train for it? And then what do you do? Two days before or a day before? Well, training for hot dogs, I train twice a week. Usually, not eat for a day and a half. And mm-hmm. just live off protein shakes, and then the day of the con- or my training run, eat 40, 45 hot dogs. Oh, really? Not eat the day after. <laughs> then have one normal day eating. <laughs> so I did that for about a month and a half. And Bruska uh, does that same thing, except he doesn't skip the day of meal. <laughs> <laughs> so my body's absorbing a lot of the n- nutrients. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, it's it's kind of unhealthy. It's, in, that, in, that, in that aspect, it's pretty unhealthy. But uh, you know, I, I try to work out whenever I can and uh, mm-hmm. have fun. Now... The uh, the time limit. Now he did fifty three and three quarter hot dogs. That includes the buns in twelve minutes. First off, do you know why twelve minutes? Why not ten minutes or why not fifteen minutes? Twelve seems arbitrary. That's a the first contest was held like ninety two years ago, mm-hmm. and that's when everybody gave up. They said, "Oh, twelve minutes is enough." Oh, I see. So it just ah. it just stuck at that point. Do yeah. you remember what it was? Oh, 16. 16. Yeah, we've come up a lot, like like baseball. Mm-hmm. We've come a long way. By some guy named uh, Gentleman O'Sullivan or something. He probably had some great name. And yeah. he ate 16 dogs. Was the toast of the town. Yes, well, Damashek. Like baseball, is there now a drug policy in place? Because this, to me, seems to be the, the linchpin to victory. If there was a drug, really? I'd be taking it. <laughs> Let me, no, no, no. Why not? Why don't you just smoke a lot of drugs just beforehand and work up the big appetite? No, you know, the munchies. Like that. Wouldn't that Save work? room for a pot brownie before you hit that stage. <laughs> why wouldn't that work? It wouldn't work. You, you, it's more. You're, it's much more fast-paced than you would. Look, I I hate to bring up his name, but I've seen Kimmel. 
We've all seen Kimmel on a half a pot brownie, that boy. <laughs> what he ate. When we went over to Snoop Dogg's house, he brought him a baker's dozen of corn muffins and demolished them all, including the basket. <laughs> that, that, inside that, that, of 20 that, that, minutes. That, that, I'm telling you, it works. I could win. Hold on. We have uh, Kobayashi on the phone. He doesn't <gasps> like what Joey's been saying. Kobe? Go eat chestnuts. You should not even train because you're a big loser. Oh, no. Now, these are fighting words. Listen, Kobayashi. Oh, look, he's training right now. Commitment. Wow. I'm eating a real dog, sir. Wow. Real dog, sir. Kobayashi. I gotta say that I think my man Joey's gonna beat you oh, next Fourth of July. Oh, that is a shame, Adam Corolla. That you are big loser <laughs> like a Joey. <laughs> Joey, can you beat Kobayashi? Oh yeah, he, this is a uh, I've come a long way. <laughs> He's just a little guy. He's gonna get beaten. <laughs> but you said that last time and you couldn't beat him. Bless, he's amused. <laughs> At the- Joey, Joey, what are you talking about, sir? You no, I beat him in a one-minute contest once. You are not a hot dog. You are a hot bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Those are fighting words. Oh, that is a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I see him, I'm going to hit him. He's not going to go, what happened? Uh, <laughs> yes, Adam, yes. I was born to... Uh, uh, born to eat the hot dog. <laughs> uh, the reason why I was uh, born on the year of the dog. So, uh, uh, I so see. That day was a uh, very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you get it, but it was one hot dog. <laughs> no, I, I did the math about four minutes ago. That is huge. <laughs> oh, Joey Chestnut is a CC. I called you a CC. Hey, I got a, I got a bet for you, Joey. Uh, how about if this time uh, you win, I retire. But if I win, I give your wife a foot long hot dog. Creation, <laughs> man. Wow. Always <laughs> give her cocktail weenie. Huh? <laughs> Not subtle. He's, a, he's obsessed with Frank Furter. I, and oh, I gotta say, so you just not the so you are a CC. <laughs> I've not heard Kobayashi speak until oh, this point. I think I eat a hot dog with the water. I eat it with the sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is true. You do have to dunk the bun, right? Yes, you do have a dunk. <laughs> but I am dunking a sake. <laughs> wow. Joey, I got to tell you, your work is cut out for you next oh, year. Joey, just yeah, there's going to be a little pressure. Go back to being a fat. <laughs> I called you fat. Joey Chestnut is a loser. <laughs> All right, Kobe. Kobe Ashi, thanks for calling in. I, Corolla, one yeah. thing I want to say. Yeah. I eat a hot dog so much, I poop in links. <laughs> and then I eat them again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. He is a maniac. Driven man. He's a foe with one thing on his mind. He's absurd. He's obsessed with hot dogs and you. Yeah, I'm going to beat him, though. It's, it's oh, pretty okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Numbers, here's, so. here's a man who defecates links. I mean, I don't know if he's kidding or exaggerating, <laughs> but I believe him. him. And then he eats uh, him again. It's, it's definitely for fun. We're going to. Next year is going to be a battle. All right. I, I like, like I said, I think you're having a good time about it. I, I, I feel like Kobe Ash, she's never been more serious. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're too, you're under two hot dogs behind him. Yeah. yeah. And, and normally a man, a few words, I would say, but this time a very gregarious Kobe. And we also, the other thing we have to talk about, too, at some point is uh, is the scandal. Kobe Ashi, for all his bluster, threw up during the competition. Did he? It was a little bit questionable. Yeah, it came out of his nose and mouth a little bit, but uh, he, uh, he reached in his cup and ate it back up. Oh. <laughs> so uh, he got it's the, the job done. the heart of a lion. Now, but when it, you puke, you're out, though, right? Uh, he, you know, it was a tough call to make. And what what are the, the ru- what are it. what are the rules exactly? Usually, it's supposed to be if you barf at all, you're out. Uh, and but things come out of your mouth, things come out of your nose when you're pushing yourself really hard. Mm-hmm. Sure. And uh, it was it was it was questionable. It's all right. I mean, I, I don't I'm not sore about it at all. 
And and is the rule that so, if it comes out of you and hits the table, kind of, I mean, if you just barf, you're out, yeah. right? Do but, they, uh, they have a bucket next to everyone? No, we're all pretty uh, good. We're, we, I've never barfed. Most I, of the guys at the table have never barfed. So he starts to barf. It comes out, but it lands in his catch tray. I know, in his cup. In his, in his dunking, yeah, in his sake cup, cup like, as oh. we now found out. Yeah, sake. And he <laughs> he then consumes that. He just reached in and scoops it up. It's like, oh, it's over with. So he, he, I feel he, so sick right no, now. I really do. He just took care of business. <laughs> All right, so you're going to do a demonstration for us, yes? Looks like I, I got a couple hot dogs here. We're going to take a break, but you say you can eat three dogs in how long? Oh, three dogs, probably about a good 15 seconds. Maybe. 15 Whoa. seconds. Mm, yeah. Three dogs in 15 seconds. All right, we'll find out whether you can do that or not. Also, you'll be training... Big Tad, who's uh, entering the rib eating contest in Reno. This is this is why the rest of the world hates us. We we come <laughs> up with eating contests to amuse ourselves. Meanwhile, they're they're just living in drought, dust bowls, famine. <laughs> they're they're living off of dung beetles and dried roots from uh, two seasons before, and we're. Barfing up our fifty third hot dog. Yeah, golf courses. Yeah, we're the most gluttonous co- country, and we don't even own this sport. Japan does. So sad. And again, yeah. Kobayashi. Uh, as much as I hate the guy, and and now I hate him even more. I mean, with a pa- <laughs> with, with a passion, I, you, you have to tip your cap to him. He wins every year. Yeah. He's a champion. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with Joey Chestnut. He's going to eat three dogs in fifteen seconds or less. Tell me did I see your baby. 866-901-ADAM. 866-901-ADAM. The Adam Corolla Show. Mountain Dew and Custard. Dripping from Big Dad's chin. Baloney filled man boobs rolls a sweaty fat. His mouth is like a vacuum sucking all the groceries down. Bacon and eggs man. Sausage and eggs, man. Tad is a walrus. Big tub of goo. Oh, there we go. Really? Joey Chestnut in studio. 52 hot dogs over at Nathan's famous 4th of July competition. Holds the American record, right? Yeah. I'm going for 60 next year. Going for 60? Yeah. Now, how are you going to do that? You said you were going to beat Kobayashi this uh, year when yeah, we spoke yeah. to you. Uh, I thought I did enough training to get beat him, but uh, but next, next year, year, next year, my capacity is growing every year. Huh? I went from thirty-two to fifty-two. He's How's young. He's only twenty-two. We should remember Kobayashi's twenty-eight. Yeah. How much can you make money-wise? I mean, how much does Kobayashi make? He last does it full time. He that's his only job, yeah, right? Last year he made I think quarter million. Really? I've made I think this year I think <clears throat> just about fifty thousand this year alone. About fifty thousand yeah. just this year eating in competitions. Yeah. All right, you're going to train Big Tad. You're also going to do a uh, demonstration for us. You're going to put down three dogs. These are not skimpy cocktail weenies. These are regular size plus hot dogs and the bun. You're going to see if you can do three in 15 seconds. Yeah, the hardest part is making sure the bun's wet. That's the hardest part. Oh, you're going to do the dunking in yeah, the water a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Teresa, Ooh. you think you were nauseated before. Wait till you watch it, this. You're this is drink gross. water when you eat anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> who pioneered the dunking competition? Who, who, that technique? The Japanese. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Always on the vanguard of weenie eating, those Japanese. Know, they, came, they came over and they took care of it. They, they did it. Well, you got it again, got to tip the hat to him. Big Tad is going to be in Reno doing the yeah. uh, rib eating competition. He's going to be there <laughs> tomorrow night. He's... Mm. Going to do something I'm actually jealous of. He's going to judge an amateur exotic dance competition, and that's the fun one, amateur night. The chicks that are... Hey, everybody, she's never been naked on stage before, but here it goes. <laughs> she's a secretary, but she's whipping her glasses off and shaking her butt out. You guys shake your butt, she shake her money maker. Businessman's lunch. One dollar well drinks. Yeah. Candy stage four tip. <laughs> I always love the extra business that goes on on the side there. <laughs> Point is, is yeah, anyone with the big stripper tat who's been doing it for 20 years, that's all right. See them naked. But what you want is the chick who's working at the receptionist. 
She's working as a receptionist at the law office, getting up there and getting Little naked. Little insecure, doesn't yes. know if she deserves to be up there. Yes. Yeah. Mazel tov, <laughs> I, as the folks in Reno say, Tad. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm a, it's actually at uh, Rum Bullion's Island Bar inside Silver Legacy. So, uh, mm-hmm. 8 to 10. Come and, down. And that's in Reno, and that's tomorrow yes. night? Yes, sir. Yeah. But I'm, I'm really ticked off right now because the man to my left, I just found out he's in this rib-eating contest. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. It was easy money, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy money, my friend. What do you Come win? On. What do you win if you win the rib-eating competition? 2500 That's 2500 yeah. bucks. And how they do it, they weigh? Oh, they weigh it all before and after, so they know exactly how much you So they start in. everyone with how much? I think it's a five-pound platter. Five then, pounds. Then if you need another five-pound platter, they'll put that on. And, and, and then they... Wait, how long do you have to do it? It's going to be a 12 minute contest. Mm-hmm. And obviously, when you're doing ribs, you don't dunk that in water, right? No, no. It's, it's, you don't want to add in more weight onto the bones. Hold so on. Kobayashi's back on the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Enough with this. Guy. He's a maniacal. You're the person that you don't dip in water, <laughs> you dip in milk. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. I gotta say, I've seen Kobayashi many oh, times. I've never God. heard him speak before. I didn't even know he knew English. I'm a Joe. I'm a Joe. <laughs> you eat the rib, so. <laughs> <laughs> Speaks in English. He can rhyme in English. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you this. Uh, oh, God. Joey Chestnut. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to talk, Kobayashi. He lets his mouth do the talk. Well, Wait. you know what I'm saying. Oh. You know what I mean. I'm going to do a karaoke song. Sing about the Joey Chestnut. Cannot eat the foot the wrong. <laughs> He's very amused with himself. <laughs> oh, how do you say you sucker? <laughs> you think you just did. Listen, Kobayashi, hang tight because Joey, oh, oh. Joey's going. to Corolla. Yes. I have a much respect for you. Thank you. Yeah. But I have a no respect for Chestnut. <laughs> he is a, what uh, we call a shameful person. Yeah. He should just uh, cut stomach open yeah. and let all his shame <laughs> on the floor. In, <laughs> in your culture, his parents would have killed themselves a long oh, time ago, sure. right? We would have dropped him in volcano like a daughter. <laughs> 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 He's almost suggesting that you wow. kill yourself out of shame. He would not even be a bonsai pilot. <laughs> he would be gay shocker. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, they got a good life. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, I don't, know, I don't know if this is adding fuel to your fire, but I'm angry now. Oh, I, I hope you remember this come 4th of July at 7. Oh, he's a little girl angry. <laughs> <laughs> he's not just putting you down, he's putting down America, Joey. I know, uh, man. It's, it's all right. Should I'll trade you for Karate Girl Five. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold. He's maniacal, this he really man. Is. Maybe this is why I always see him cut out of sports. I see him eating the dogs, but they must just clip out the interview at the end because he is just, it's not suitable for young children. No, so, he gets in your head, right? He psychs you out. No, it's, it's, uh, He's actually a pretty good eater. He's a good good, good competitor. Really nice guy. Really oh, I don't know. I mean, to hear this guy seated to my right while I was trying to focus on my job, I don't know if I could. He psychs you out. Right. So you're going to eat three dogs for us, and you're going to see if you can do it. This is the bun. This is the dog. These are regular-sized dogs, and then some, and regular-sized bun. You're going to do three in 15 seconds. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm hoping I can do that. All right. This is Kobayashi. Yes, sir. Now, listen, I'm going to have you back on the line, but I want you to be a gentleman. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Joey Chestnut is uh, going to... Adam, <laughs> I just want you to know, uh, right before you put me uh, back on the phone, I ate 12 hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and I dip it in a sake. <laughs> and I ate four loaves of bread. Uh, what is a Mr. Joey Chestnut about to do? Well, he's going to try to eat three. Of course, because he is a CC. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to do three in 15. 15-
15 seconds. Oh, wow. That's a big deal. What's it is? I just ate to 12. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo, he's, oh, Joey. he's an eating machine, Joey. Uh, Adam, can I ask you a quick question? Mm, yes. How does Joey look in his mini skirt? <laughs> Well, he's not wearing panties, I can tell you that. that he is a big bitch. <laughs> Hold on a second, Kobayashi. Joey, if you're not fired up now, I don't know if you're ever going to be fired up. This, 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 is, this is essentially Pearl Harbor here. This is an attack on American soil. It's worse than Pearl Harbor. It's on American soil. Do you understand? I need you to stand up for all Americans. Coney Island. 4th of July, as we discussed earlier, Jesus' birthday. <laughs> Being shamed on the most holiest of all holidays, the 4th of July, and hot dog eating on Coney Island by someone who was not born on this soil. Joey, Joey, you carry all our dreams with you. Show us how it's done. Please. All right, now, 15 seconds. 15 seconds, Kobayashi. Joey! <laughs> Why don't you do us all a favor and stick all three hot dogs in your butt? <laughs> I would accept that, by the way, Joey. If that's it's consumed. One way or another. In less than one second. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, Kobayashi. But I, then again, you might have to make the hot dogs foot along. <laughs> uh, crowd is gathered to watch this. Kobayashi, yes, I demand silence now. I promise. I have a much respect for you, Adam. I don't Thank know. you. But <laughs> I do not like the Joey. <laughs> that's, that's abundantly obvious. He's trying to focus now. Oh. Focus on being loser. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, I'm putting him on hold. I don't feel, I don't feel like we can no do time. it with him. He, he's like the world's worst pirate uh, parrot. You know, he just sits on your shoulder and slings insults at you. Now, when I say go, I'm looking up at the clock here. We'll give you 15 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. He takes the dog right out of the bun. Mm -hmm. Now he's dunking the bun mm -hmm. into the water. It's quite grotesque. Mm. He's already through two. Five more seconds. The whole dog is now dunked into the water. Mm -hmm. Dog and bun. Three. Gone. Wow. Now he's done. Now what do you do? That was... Did three he do seconds. three? I think he had ten seconds to spare and he consumed all three. Wow. Not bad. Wow. Wow. That's an American. You gotta throw up, throw up on Teresa. I'm, I'm a vegetarian. This is just Kobayashi. Oh wait a minute, I got him on hold. Kobayashi, I scared him off. Yes, I just need no, no, a whole scared. pound of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on hold just then? Uh, yes. Uh, during the 15 seconds, I eat a whole pound of bacon <laughs> and one dozen of egg. <laughs> Still hungry? Did Joey uh, throw up? <laughs> no, no. He held it all down. He ate three full-size hot dogs oh, in 15 seconds. Very good, Joey. Very good. Keep practicing so you can run. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, All right, now, Kobayashi, <laughs> Big Tad, and I know you don't have oh. an axe to grind with Big Tad. Uh -oh, Big Tad, Tad is, is doing a rib-eating competition. I don't know how you feel uh, about rib-eating competitions. Uh, it, does he eat it uh, also the bone? No, no. <laughs> it's not a rib-eating contest. Wow. I say, wow, you're very hardcore. Yeah. I eat the bone. Co <laughs> Kobayashi, I bet you do. Let me, say, let, me, let me say this. Very controversial at Coney Island last year. Year. A lot of people say you threw up and should have been disqualified. Yeah, that, that is true. But then I did drink my uh, throw up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, came so out as no two time. <laughs> <laughs> that is maniacal, uh, this Kobayashi. I just a poop another leak. <laughs> <laughs> he actually, as we learned the first time we spoke to him, he poops in link yes, form. He eats that many hot dogs. <laughs> And I sell them at local delicatessen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
All right, so hang tight here, Kobayashi, because oh, Big Ted is going to eat some. Dad and Joey both are a sissy. <laughs> 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 yeah, but this sissy will kick your ass, Kobayashi. <laughs> All right, now listen, Ted. He's a competitor. He's, okay, whatever. He's a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is a rookie, although he's a big man and he's been eating since uh, before he was born. Oh. Yes, Big Big Tad's mother used to have to put uh, platters oh, up uh, just to satisfy oh. a, a zygote Tad. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Tad, mm -hmm. good luck. <laughs> good luck to both of you. <laughs> All right, Joey, go ahead and help Big Tad. Give him some tips and some pointers. I don't All know right. if I should take his pointers, though, because he's against me in this rib. Contest. That's, uh, Dad, I have I'll, one I'll suggestion for you. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. Go eat while you're ahead. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, he's not only drunk with power, Kobayashi, but he's drunk off sake, which we've learned he uses to dunk the bun into. <laughs> I eat the Rocky Charms with the sake. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore. Ted, you're going to yes. try to do three ribs. Is that oh, true? Yes. I, didn't, I didn't even know this. Okay. They're the size of my fingers. He should be doing like 20. Do 20. You want to do 20? Well, what is the technique? Why don't you instruct you gotta, Big Ted? Uh, you got to start it with your fingers. You got hands, so you got to use them. Mm -hmm. and okay. You pretty much go ahead, put it in your mouth and take it all out, strip the meat. So you try teeth. to debone with your teeth. Yeah. Can one practice fell? on one? Yeah. Start with your fingers, then uh, continue with your, your mouth. So you essentially perform oral on the rib. Is that I, the technique? I've never performed oral. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, I, if that's what you're saying. You've seen it in movies, though, have you not? Uh, I don't look that closely at the technique. You grab the end of the bone, put it in your mouth like it's a popsicle stick, and just pull it out. Right. So it's like as if you were eating a popsicle, if that's slide it got, in, pull the stick out, right? All right, Tad, go ahead. Ooh. Oh, that, Ooh, that looked pretty good. That was decent. Tad, no, Hold be up, brother. Keep going. Tad, you don't know we were timing. Talk to the I didn't judges. know we were timing. Now, what should he be doing? Should he should he be swallowing? Yeah, he should uh, work on swallowing. How do you swallow that? What do you do? You just swallow it down? Do you drink yeah. water and do it? Usually, you need a little bit of water, or you just get into a rhythm where you, you're. So you is having. it eat, drink, eat, drink, or whatever you taste to get into a rhythm where you're mm. swallowing quickly? Co um, Kobayashi. Uh, yes, I'm Mr. Adam Corolla. See, it's great respect for me. I like uh, that. I have a bunch of respect for you. <clears throat> Do you look at uh, the rib eating stuff as sort of bush league? I don't like uh, rib eating because I don't believe in sucking a bone and a swallowing. <laughs> I understand, right? This doesn't... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you catch my grief. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got your dread. Uh, Thank yeah. you. I go strictly eating a dog. No. Yeah. Winter boy. Uh, I understand. Well, Good listen. Rock with that one, Tad. Make sure you wear lots of lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this guy gets in your head. Wow. All right, Tad, Tad. You work on those ribs and those dogs. I'm tired of watching you. We're running late. We need to take a break. Joey, Joey Chestnut, I got to tell you, I've never wanted a victory more. A lot, a lot of people follow the Olympics. They wave the flag every four years for that. For me, it's hot. It's it's on with the hot dog eating. This Kobayashi has disgraced us at our own sport with our own food in our own country. And I say it is time you knock this once proud warrior off his high horse. I'm sorry, Kobayashi. I had to say it. He's okay, Adam. You are American, which means you are big failure. <laughs> 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 well, I've heard enough out of him. <laughs> what do you think, Joey? Yeah, it's time to shut him up. Time to shut him up. Oh, All I'll right. beat him. There's only one way to do it. Yeah. July 4th. It'll happen. I'm going to beat him in uh, October 28th. Crystal, oh, yeah. Crystal Hamburgers, I'll be going against him. Oh, you'll be yeah. doing a burger eating competition yeah. with Kobe. Yeah, I'd, I'm going to break his record next week. I appetizer before hot dog eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> so cocky, actually. Yeah, eats before. Yeah, before contest, I eat 14 burgers. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Gary Payton of eating, this guy. Yeah. He's just in your ear. Oh, she's a cute. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea there was a female in the audience. She, she's single, too, Kobayashi. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to see a foot along? <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling something like that was coming. <laughs> Maybe we could go out for dinner. <laughs> oh, I would love her that very much. <laughs> Chicks dig competitive eaters. <laughs> All right, the great Kobayashi. I got a feeling he's going to be back. Back on the show. Uh, Joey, thank you. Good luck to you. Oh, thank we'll you. be keeping an eye on you. Tad, 
Yes, sir. <clears throat> Good luck in Reno. I want to thank Hooters for uh, sponsoring you. They're flying you out there. Yes, they are. God bless Hooters. Looking what, forward to it. What, what supporters of the Adam Carolla Show? We'll take a quick break. We're going to talk some Emmys when we come back, T. Yes, we're going to hear Conan's really brilliant song, plus the speech by a guy who's not famous, but I thought it was the funniest speech of the night, and I thought he borrowed very liberally from an Adam Carolla bit that he did on Letterman. Mm, interesting. Also at Dennis Hoff, owner of the Bunny Ranch, will be in here. Uh-oh, he did get Ron Jeremy on the phone, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Ron Jeremy is the punchline to so many jokes, you don't think about it. Like when he goes, he, he, Dennis just said, let me get Ron Jeremy on the phone. And I just started laughing and walked away. And the next thing you know, there's Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Well, I guess Ron will be coming in as well. We'll uh, talk to him. <clears throat> we'll talk to Dennis. Thousand and one Bunny Ranch questions. I don't know how you get one started. Do you live there? How does it work? I want to know about health inspectors. And what does Kobayashi tests? think about the whole thing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all that, but first, the Emmy wrap up after this. Yeah. Science, and Mercury. 866-901-ADAM 866-901-ADAM The Adam Carolla Show